Hey coaches, Coach Simpson, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your first time visiting. If you have just uh, stumbled upon this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to this channel if you like what you see, or you can go through and look at a lot of other videos I've got. Uh, this week's theme is my favorite play in football, which is Buck Sweep. So I had to get out the shirt for it, get out the hat for it. I've got a ton of information on Buck Sweep. If you want to become an expert at running the buck, I've had to study a lot of guys. And so I'm going to give you a couple things that we've found and a couple things that I've taken from who I consider true gurus in the wing tee, like Roger Holmes, uh, all of those guys who have, who have done this for a long time. I want to kind of tip my hat to them. And, you know, I've learned a lot from them and I learned a lot from experience, good and bad, on how to run the buck sweep. So this week I'm going to talk about buck sweep and adjustments that you can make. Uh, again, I've got a ton more information available on my website. You can go to fbcoachsimpson.com and, and there's a ton of just different, uh, more in-depth than what I'm going to give on YouTube. Or you can even go to CoachTube. I've got a full course on Buck Sweep. Or if you go farther in this YouTube channel, there's a Basics of the Buck Sweep. It's a whole hour-long video. You can kind of go through. I think I've got it uh, stored on this channel already. So a lot of information. This week I'm going to be walking through these specific problems you may run into uh, with the buck sweep. Hopefully it'll maybe help you out a little bit as we go along. So today I'm going to talk about nine technique, how to handle a nine technique. Next couple days I'll be talking about, uh, you know, that really tough nose guard, maybe even a shaded nose guard who's trying to get in the gap of your pulling guard. Talk a little bit about teams that are, you know, going to blitz a lot. We don't see that as much anymore because it's not very effective against buck sweep, but if you do see that, what are some possible uh, solutions. Backside four or three, you know, it's something that I've, I've taken from um, Coach Murphy, uh, his steel concept, we talk a little bit about that. And then finally, different ways to get your numbers right. Very much a Gus Malzahn idea of trying to get our numbers right to run the same play, dressing up the same play, making it look good. So today let's talk about a nine technique, issues you may see when you're running the buck sweep. So for us, our base formation is going to be that tight end wing. So I'm talking about a nine technique. I'm talking about they've got either a really good outside linebacker or maybe he's a defensive end in a 4-3 or 4-2-5 or whatever he is who's playing that nine technique. There's two, a couple ways they can play this. So I want to give you real quickly a couple things you can do pre-snap and then give you two adjustments uh, that we try to have in our bag of tricks to handle those guys that are very talented. Uh, first thing is... A lot of times by formation, you can get your better blocker on him. Because usually what teams are trying to do is they're trying to make your wing back block down on a nine technique that might outweigh him by 30 or 40 pounds and be really, really talented. So a few things you can do is you can do splits. You can do what we call nasty splits. We can just have that kind of nasty look where now you're going to flex out and make that kid kind of be in between. You know, we're going to put our tight end standing up out here, maybe even six feet out maybe even eight feet out. And now how are you going to treat our formation? Are you going to treat this as 10 personnel and come down to a five technique? Okay, come down to a five technique. And a lot of times now we can get a really good angle here, or we can even switch our tight end and our wing back and let our better player, better blocker, handle that guy. So formationally, that's a couple things you can do. Don't, don't feel like I'm a big 21 guy. I love the tight end wing surface. But if we're going to get that nine technique and we're having a hard time with buck, that's a quick adjustment you might be able to make. The second uh, two that I want to talk through are looking at this guy's technique. So there's two ways generally teams are going to play that nine technique trying to blow up buck sweep. The first is they're going to tell that guy, we want you to penetrate and just create havoc. I want you to try to get in the gap, maybe just cause chaos, try to get there and force everything to bounce or force everything, just kind of get jammed up in there. So usually they're going to put a good athlete here and maybe even get a running start or what they're going to do. And this guy's just going to try to penetrate that gap as much as possible. Our solutions usually against that guy are to go with a word we call bypass. We've called it different things different years. But basically, we're going to take this wing now and he is going to, instead of down blocking him, he's either going to block a very dangerous edge player here or if we don't feel that corner is really going to come make the tackle, we may send him on to a second or third level player inside. So we'll kind of decide for the game which guy's a better tackler, and we call bypass, that's where you're going. 
Now we're going to run Buck Sweep tighter. So we're going to kick this guy. Everybody else runs their normal rules. Gap down backer, gap hinge. Let me go ahead and get my guys all drawn up here. But we know now we get that bypass call that guard knows it's going to hit tighter. Both guards know we're going to kick tight and we're going to hit tight. And we just decide where we're going to take this wing. Second issue you'll run into is a guy who's just dominant on your tight end. So he's not allowing your tight end off the ball. This is a lot of times with a true nine technique as a defensive end who's been coached up to not allow your tight end to release and go block downfield. So he's going to get on him, jam him up, playing good technique. In our offense, if you know much about it, uh, we run buck and we run an inside play we call belly. And so belly blocking, we're going to base out on that guy and buck blocking, we're going to down block. Well, our adjustment is if this guy's going to try to jam us up, we call it, we call it dubs or we've had a couple different terms for it. But basically, we're going to influence block him with our tight end. So our tight end is going to step to him, usually with one outside hand. He's keeping himself square in case we do get a blitzer. But he's going to go ahead and attack him like he's basing out on that nine technique. If the nine technique feels that, he's been coached all week to get blocked out on, compress the hole or try to jump inside or try to blow up the inside run. So we're going to give that just jab step right there, get him to commit to fighting our tight end down, and now our wing is going to have a much easier job sealing a guy who's already going where he wants him to go. Our tight end just simply keeps his eyes up, and we're going to work here. And that's a way we can get that guy to do what we want him to do if he's just blowing us up by influencing him. So that's a couple adjustments on a nine technique. Hopefully that gave you a little bit. We'll walk through the rest of this week. These are just fixes to buck sweep. So tomorrow I'll talk about shaded nose, how to handle a nose. It's giving you problems. There's a couple of simple things we do. How to handle blitzing teams. Four, uh, backside four, backside three, how we read that guy. And then getting the numbers right. Again, don't forget, guys, I've got a lot of stuff on my website, fbcoachsimpson.com. You can go there. Different PowerPoints are going to go a lot more in-depth with actual game film on this stuff. Also have the courses on Coach 2 that I'll try to drop in the description to this. If you haven't already done so, I appreciate you to like and subscribe to this channel, hoping to continue to put out content every week. Appreciate it.